file and you're going to say new. And then we're going to just pick a letter or a four sizes file. That'll give us our um, artboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and look in my finder. And here's the picture of um, that I've taken of my logo that I've hand drawn. And I'm going to, I think I'm just going to bring it over here. Does that work? Oh, that works. But it's very big. So I'm going to grab the corner and hold shift. And I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to bring it back and hold shift so that I keep it the right size. If I don't hold shift, I can get this. <laughs> so here we go. Command zero. Let's make it really big. OK, so now um, I'm going to lock it by hitting command two. And that means I can't click and move it anymore. It's attached to the artboard. If you come up to object and you say unlock all, it'll unlock it. I can move it around. Or if I go up here and I say lock selection, it locks it down. So command two or object lock and unlock. All right, so I'm going to draw these uh, shapes. I'm going to use the pen tool right here. I'm going to start here, and then I'm going to click this down here. I'm going to hold because I want to make this shape. Right away, I know that I have, I push escape so that I don't, I can, the pen tool stops. Um, I'm going to turn off the fill right now, but I do want to turn on, so I'm going to click the select tool. I'm going to make the stroke a little bit bigger. And I think I might want to make it red so I can see it a little bit better. Maybe orange. No, red. No, let's make it black. Let's just make it really thick so you can kind of see it. All right, so I'm going to go back to my pen tool. I'm going to click from here, and I'm going to click up here. And I'm going to drag until I get the curve the right way. That's good. Then I'm going to click from here to here. I'm going to click from here to here, and I'm going to drag to make these. And you can always just Command Z to back up. I forgot to hold. There's that one. I'm going to click from here to here. I'm going to click from here and to here. I'm going to hold. I'm going to click from here to here. I'm going to click from, I'm going to click select, pen tool, here to here, and I forgot to hold, click from here to here. Okay, then um, I could draw some lines here. I'll just do that. I can just draw a line straight through to make these. If And I don't want to continue this line, so I'm going to go ahead and push escape. And then I'm going to click from here to here. And those are not uh, parallel lines, which I do want. So I'm going to actually delete. And I'm going to use the direct select tool to kind of move it down a little bit. Then I'm just going to use copy paste. I'm just going to move this one up. So I've kind of got my um, my basic. If I want to, I could uh, add in these these uh, shading lines that I did. Not very well. Let's try this. Let's try that way. I'm gonna select. Now I've got all my shapes. I just need to use the Shape Builder tool to separate them. Okay. So then I can select these parts that I don't want now that they're all shapes. All right. I think it should be okay. I deleted that one in the middle. Um, then I can click on the parts I want, and I can actually just, I think I can just click on the color. That looks pretty good. Select, click on the color with the eyedropper tool. Click on the color, or I can use, I could just use the color palette if I wanted to. Click select, and eyedropper. Now, <clears throat> if I want, I can also uh, add a stroke. I don't know if that, that's gonna make it look good. I forgot to add a stroke here. so. It looks about right. And then either I can keep this line in, but if I wanted to delete it, use the direct select tool, click it once, and hit delete. Click it once, hit delete. Oops. Let's try that again. Nope. Gotta click outside, click it, click delete once. I have to be really picky. I guess this goes like that. That's kind of like the digital version, so I can select object, unlock. I can now delete. I don't think I need to move this, just using the arrow keys. It's a, a decent, um, back up a little bit. I don't know, maybe it looks better like that. Or maybe I want to do a gradient tool where I change the colors to, uh... ooh. What if instead I did the shape builder tool and did that, and now the gradient tool that's better. There we go. And maybe we have the stroke take off this time. Mm, I kind of like the outside a little darker. Okay, so object unlock all. Let's just put this one over to the side. Oh, that's not. That's not the aspect ratio. And let's group it. Okay. 